Well, hello guys. Today we are not getting drunk, but we will be making some alcohol Mountain Dew soap. Okay, so it's going to sound kind of strange, but stick with me. It's going to be fun. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to exchange our lye water and we're going to use um, Mountain Dew hard soda water. Okay, and we're going to add lye to that. Now, when it comes down to adding lye to any alcohol, remember, you have to boil that alcohol. It could be beer. It could be wine, hard soda. You have to make sure you boil it and boil out out all of the alcohol and that may take 30 to 45 minutes on low okay so you're gonna go ahead and add your lie to that and you will notice that the lie will change color and also if you're unsure if you got all of the alcohol out of it make sure that you do it in your sink okay because you will have a live volcano if you did not so yeah so what i did was i allowed mine to boil for about 30 minutes but i honestly just set it on a uh, sink for about three days all right to make sure all the alcohol was out so i'm adding sodium lactate to that um hard mountain dew live lye solution <laughs> and i'm also going to add me some sugar to that so the sodium lactate hardens the bar and the sugar will add to the lather okay so if you want a nice bubbly soap then make sure you add some sugar to it now the purpose of using alcohol like beer and um wine and things like that to our soap the added benefit is a luxury lather okay all right so now that we prepared our live water we're going to go ahead and we're going to start preparing our oils the first oil that you will be pouring into your bowl is olive oil okay so i had already started pouring my oils but i just remember so i just came back to the camera just to fake it till i make it just to you know show you guys what i was doing listen i didn't tell you guys to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you sit here on this channel i don't know what you're doing so add some mango butter to this we're going to be using mango butter in this recipe yes we are i hate using mango butter and soap because it's so expensive but baby when i tell you it produced a very nice beautiful creamy soap you will not regret it okay all right so that is my mango butter and also listen if you want the whole recipe and you want to chat with me you need to go in the description box all right the patreon is there so we're adding some castor oil to our recipe as well castor oil is good for bubbles so you don't use a whole lot because you know if you use too much you're gonna have you a nice little sticky soap you don't want that the next thing we're going to be adding is some um now listen i don't know if anybody ever told you but you could use and whenever you see a recipe and it says palm oil you can exchange it for vegetable shortening and that is the one that you find at walmart the thing that we used to use to fry our chicken in yeah you can use that so we're using palm oil or we're using vegetable shortening okay and i did not talk about the fragrance for today with this mountain dew soap so let me let you guys in on some tea so nature's garden have a uh, mountain dew fragrance and it smells exactly like mountain dew and it soaps beautifully okay so we're gonna be doing this and um also using that so it's gonna smell just like mountain dew now guys i will be selling this soap very soon you know i'm gonna allow it cure time but in the meanwhile if you guys want any of my hot process soaps you can go in the description box and head on over to my website and you can get some beautiful lathering luxurious highly scented awesome smelling soap all right now the next thing we're going to do is um after we finish adding all of our oil to our oil phase uh we will be taking that and we will be double boiling it guys uh you will not take this and put it in the microwave i forbid you <laughs> we're going to put it on the stove and we're going to allow some water to boil and we're going to melt it down that way okay so we're going to be soaping today at 100 degrees or lower so you know for me preferably 100 or 80 you know so you need to make sure that your oils is at about 80 degrees and also your lye is at about 80 to 100 degrees as well and this keeps your soap from heating up and 
Um, you it volcanoing out the mold and things like that. So this is about a good five pound batch. So if you guys have like a five to six pound mold, uh, this batch of soap will work perfectly for that mold. All right. So now that we have melted down our oils, we're going to go ahead and we're going to pour our lye into the oils. Okay. This is our lye water, AKA hard mountain dew and lie okay so this 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 should be pretty fun guys this should be pretty fun so what i thought was i thought that the soap was going to be orange because the actual hard mountain dew was orange but no we had to add our own colors to get some colors which was okay because i've really played around with the colors and when you smell the soap you will understand the assignment okay so i got my oil over here sitting in the corner if you guys can see and i'm using about maybe three point something ounces of fragrance oil in this batch what i do like about the fragrance oil is the fragrance oil did not um do anything funny to the soap um so you won't have no problem out of it so right now i'm bringing the soap into a light trace okay so when i say a light trace it probably take me about under five minutes of mixing to get this so I really just wanted to have a trace, but I don't want to be too heavy because if it's too heavy, then we're not going to be able to like really freely pour it and decorate it the, the way we want to. And so let's go ahead and finish up with this mixing part. So another thing I want to tell you guys for this particular soap, you're going to need some titanium dioxide because... You know, we know that sometimes when you add like um, beer and wine and things like that, you can have a little bit darker type of soap. And also depending on the fragrance, it can also darken the soap as well. Now, these, this fragrance that I'm using is vanillin free. So you don't have to worry about it turning the soap brown. Um, yes, that's a big problem. <laughs> okay. So I just took my titanium dioxide and I just basically poured it in with my fragrance. That way I didn't have like white spots all throughout my soap and it worked out perfectly for me. Another way you could do it is add it in with some safflower oil, sunflower oil. If you're afraid that it would do something to your fragrance or change the smell. Yes, you could just add it in with your olive oil. Either way around, um, I recommend you just adding it to the batch in oil instead of just putting it straight into the batch because uh, you don't want those white specks in the final soap bar. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna separate this into about three different containers because we're gonna color this soap and we're gonna start to have a little bit of fun. Okay, so now we're going to um, start basically getting our mold ready and prepared for us to start pouring this soap. Now, you don't wanna to wait too long after you pour any kind of fragrance into a soap because one thing about fragrance is it does speed the soap up. Some of them will not, but majority of the time, your fragrance will speed up the time. So um, anywhere around, as long as you allowing your soap to sit, it is thickening up as you know the air continue to hit it. So we wanna move pretty quick. You don't want to delay and you want to make sure that, um, you know, you have everything prepared beforehand. So have your colors and things like that prepared. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start out with a little light green and I'm going to go ahead and mix that light green in. And I noticed I had just a few little drops of fragrance. Uh, so I just put that inside it as well. So then uh, I'm using a little orange because we all know uh, I told you guys that I'm using Mountain Dew as my. Uh, theme and hard soda so it's like green and orange on the can okay so I just poured that orange first inside of the mold and guys listen my mold don't have my clothes pin I had to go back to Dollar Tree to give me some clothes pins but I just went and I just pretty much just laid out that orange that green and then I just left that white so I wouldn't have everything so dark all right so inside of this one I just begin to mix like a um, a darker green well it's lighter but I mixed it with black 
so it made it a darker green so that I could have two different color greens as you see you know as you can see on that left hand side I have a light green which I'll be putting all of that in the patreon then I have a dark green but I wanted it to be even darker so I mixed it with a little black now guys um what happened was the video did not record when I thought it was recording when I was mixing the color um because that's what I'm doing in the background just kind of gra grabbing my color it did not record so unfortunately I'm not going to be able to show you guys all that I had going on in this. As you can see, I was struggling with the cord and everything like that. So I went ahead, just cleaned everything up and then used my mold. And right here, you see me using my gear tie and I'm mixing and blending the colors in. So this is what you're going to do. Once you get it in a mold, you're going to go ahead and you're going to take your gear tie and you're going to just go through and you're going to mix and combine those colors. And then um, you could just decorate the top if you choose to. Me, I love to decorate the top of my soap so I just took uh, something and I just start swirling on the top of my soap so you can get a gear tie from a hardware store or just you know just Google I order mine from Walmart so you know they sell them pretty much locally you know and they're really good for getting those nice beautiful swirls within your soap so guys after I finish the top I want you guys to see the final result and again, I apologize for leaving out that footage. It did not record. And I was so upset when I finished. I was like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. So this is our 10 days of soap and this is our second soap. So we still have about a good eight soaps left, okay? And the next soap that we're going to do, I'm just going to leave it to be a surprise. I will see you guys again for the next soap. And this is Diamond Shine Soap. If you want the whole entire fragrance and you want to talk to me and you want to do one-on-one -on -one coaching, um, inside the description box, we have some very useful links. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it because I always want to show you guys what it looked like when it is cut. And it came out very beautiful, even down to the sides, guys. I love the blend of the orange and the lime green it came out so 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 pretty i hope you guys loved it as much as i did all right <laughs>